So my job is I lead the NHS in England. One of the things that I am is I am the accounting officer for the NHS. So that means I am accountable to Parliament for how we spend £150 billion. Pounds. Well, I hope that what it does is it just allows students to find out about a world they probably don't know much about. Certainly I didn't, even when I joined the NHS, I had no idea it had 350 different professions. I had no idea really the scale of what the NHS does every day. When I started my career in the NHS, I knew my local GP, I knew my local hospital, you know, I had my sort of personal family experience, but I had no idea what the actual scale of it was or how much, to your point, it is part of the fabric of the life of this country. What did your career journey look like? So some of you will have a really clear idea about what you want to do, and that's great. Some of you will probably be sitting here thinking, I've literally no idea what I want to do. I was in that category. Doing something you're genuinely passionate about, and you don't need to know what it is now, you'll find it. But go for something that you really care about, that gives you a reason to get out of bed every morning, and gives you a reason to put in just that extra bit of effort. If I could go back to talk to my 16-year-old self now, I'd say, it doesn't matter not to know what you want to do with the rest of your life. And it doesn't matter that you don't have, you know, everything sorted. Actually, have the confidence to go for it. Follow the things you really care about. Make the most of every opportunity and you'll be okay. <laughs>